varsity club welcome back to another classic since the drop of nba 2k22 everyone that i've seen has been leaving me comments saying we want an expansion team and i'm gonna be honest a confession to make i didn't want to do it at first but i'm coming around to it so for the past week or so i've been working on an expansion team and i'm pretty excited to debut it to you right now now before we jump into it you see this team if you comment what i'm saying well, game bro, i don't like it i don't care well, game bro, you should have done i don't care well, game bro if i was doing i would have don't care go do it yourself if you want something different okay so the team we're officially going to be for the nba 2k22 expansion series will be the louisville badgers i know it's different it's crazy but honestly i love the color scheme i love the logo we found this in the 2k sort of you know download section you can ultimately have we're gonna rock with it but good game bro what about the uniforms i'm showing them to you dummy so here's what we ultimately have remember with the any expansion series i do the more you guys watch the more episodes we do and then i try to you know switch the uniforms up a little bit and get creative but if any of you are on the xbox series x on the next gen version 2k22 and you designed a really cool jersey for the badgers tweet it to me hit me on instagram whatever and i'll check it out that being said here's a look at our home uniforms again kind of simplistic to a way i didn't want to go too crazy because again this is our first year as an expansion team and a lot of times expansion teams don't have anything crazy for the first couple of seasons now here's a look at the away uniforms again if it's a louisville team you got to have that classic red so i wanted to sort of pay homage to the city of louisville rocking a little bit of red for the away and then for the alternate we went with the veil again i didn't really design the logo text but the rest of it yes i had a part in that one so i like how these jerseys look i think they're really great alternate we have our white jersey our black jersey and our red jersey i think the team's ready to go let's meet the roster so for this team it's important to note that we did do an expansion draft but then we had to make a couple of trades after because i didn't just want the same roster that a lot of people ended up with i wanted it to be different and be unique so after the expansion draft and a couple of trades here's what we ultimately have we have patty mills gonna be our main point guard we have mr seth curry one letter or two couple letters away from being the better curry version we have terrence mann as small forward slash shooting guard we have Taylor horton tucker we also have willie coley sign who should be a really fun big who can run up and down the floor i'm gonna press you now the rest of our roster is incredibly young but i think they'll be fine we have Nikhil alexander walker zach collins alperin sagoon whose name i'm probably mispronouncing and i could have googled or youtube had to say his name but i didn't feel like doing it i'm sorry leandro bomaro who again is an overseas product that i think will be really fun for our team uh nashawn highland aka bones highland isaiah todd who again will be a stud for this team i think down the line if we can keep him that long uh ao Dasunmu, whose name i'm also probably messing up but the kid from illinois really talented uh, and then didi luzada who again is a guy that maybe won't see much playing time here but you never know we're a young team injuries could happen this guy could get a, a roster spot here sooner rather than later but it wouldn't be one of my expansion franchises if we didn't have a competing expansion franchise to go against welcome the seattle supersonics back to the nba Look, the nba has needed basketball back in seattle and they went crazy the expansion draft happened they ended up having some major trades and they have gotten paul george as their primary player the clippers for whatever reason didn't want to pay him an absurd amount of money Kawhi says i'm bailing on him so they said look we're going to start over and do a rebuild they put off a major trade got themselves paul george they also have drew holiday they have john wall they have draymond green they literally have no salary cap whatsoever but they have a chance to compete in year number one where we may struggle in year one they're probably vying for a playoff spot towards the bottom of it in that Al Horford, they have Jeremy Lamb, Xavier Tillman, Royce O'Neal, JaVale McGee, Obi Toppin, Josh Jackson, Isaiah Roby, RJ Hampton, Nasir Little. This team has a lot of older players with a lot of, you know, salary cap. They have some young talent that can help them out too. And you know what could be one of my expansion franchises if I didn't make custom draft classes for every single year. So going forward, this is GGB Fictional One. You can download it right now if you're on the Series X or Series S uh, for Xbox. These are custom crafted draft classes with players that maybe you're gonna be really good maybe start out great and end up being bad there are all types of different players with different possibilities for their outcomes you just got to draft them and hope that you get the good one Torre, we have andre little julian massenberg cody king javi or excuse me javi sunvold uh, jimmy battier theodore nugambu albert levins there are gem upon gem and dud upon dud hidden throughout this draft class and look if you're playing your own nba expansion franchise and you want to download this i highly recommend it let me know your favorite players how their careers go out tweet me screenshots i think i make some of the best custom draft classes out there for non-realistic players or sorry non-real players uh so again 
test it out let me know what you think tell me the hidden gems you found the busts you found i want to know about your journey with this franchise and these draft classes so if you want to see what our starting roster looks like here's what we have patty mills our savvy veteran that's probably going to lead us in scoring if i had to imagine uh seth curry at shooting guard terrence mann at small forward zach collins a power forward willie cauley sign will be our center then off the bench i think we actually have some pretty good offensive production or possibility of offensive production off that you have Taylor Horton Tucker, Nikhil Alexander Walker. Uh, we have Sangoon, Omaro, and then Highland's not currently getting minutes. We'll probably experiment with that a little bit. Actually, we're going to make sure we go uh, bench depth. We're going to go to 11 man, I think, for that. Just because it's the beginning of the year, I need to see who's ultimately doing what. So again, Mills, Curry, Man, Colin Stein, Horton Tucker, Alexander Walker. The changes again. The Sean Highland's going to get some minutes here. Uh, the Sun Move's going to get some minutes as well. Isaiah Todd and Luzada are the guys that are probably left out a little bit, but still, we'll figure this out throughout the year. Our head coach you're paying attention is none other. Coach Mervin McMervin. The legend himself, he's back. In terms of how Coach Mervin McMervin runs his team, we're going to have Patty Mills as our number one option. Terrence Mann is our second. Seth Curry is our third option. Our offensive focus is getting shooters open. Tempo, shoot at will. Offensive rebounding, some crash, others get back. Defensive focus, we do not want to give up shots. So limit three-point shots, limit perimeter shots as much as we possibly can. Neutral defensive aggression. Uh, we're going to play physical D here. That's what we're about. Uh, and then some crash, others run for defensive rebounding. Again, this is our strategy. We'll change things as needed, but I like how we're starting. In terms of what we're going to be running for our assistant proficiency, seven seconds. Basically, we're Mike D and Tony the first year. It's what we have to rock. We don't have a lot of stuff that's great. We want to essentially run something different, but for now, with what we have, this makes the most sense. Player mentorship is something I get hit up all the time about when I make this series. So we're going to cover it in episode one. A couple of guys are going to be focusing on here. Nashawn Highland will be a guy that we want to essentially make better. I think this dude has a sky's the limit for his talent. We want to see what we can do with him. Patty Mills will be the guy that's mentoring him. So we're going to be going after catch and shoot. Uh, corner specialist and then down here a little bit more we have stop and pop these are all things that are attainable in year one for highland and again i think bones will be an important player for our team especially these first two seasons i look at leandro bomaro this dude is six seven he can shoot a little bit but there's a lot of work to be done and if i want him to learn from somebody who can shoot really well it's seth curry so bomaro is going to learn catch and shoot from him uh he's going to also learn blinders and then the last one he's going to learn from him is going to be all the way down here for Deadeye. Again, if I can make Bomaro, who already has pretty good ball handling and can finish really well, a shooter, that bodes well for us. Whether we keep him or use him as trade bait, I'm happy. And then you can't forget about the big man. I think Sangoon is going to be a major player for us after year one. Callie Sign, again, defensive guy, can get up and down the floor. Not much of an offensive threat. Sangoon, I think, will be a much better offensive player, but I want him to learn that defense a little bit too. So put back balls is one of the ones we're learning from Callie Stein rise up to help out on defense uh, and then down here a little bit more lob city finisher again get him up a little bit more and Sengun could be that starter before you know it and when we look at the future about who we're going to be upcoming free agents there aren't a lot of guys that i really feel like make a ton of sense maybe bradley beal could be a guy that makes a lot of sense for our team but he's going to cost us an insane amount of money but we honestly have the salary cap space DeAndre Aiden, a big fella but again i like Sengun and being able to use him at a much cheaper salary for a lot of years there are a lot of potential people we could look at. I don't really know how much we play in free agency year one. I think if we do anything, it's really trying to trade some of the guys that we have for a first round draft pick and getting one of those primetime players, depending on where we ultimately net out. But at the same time, if there's someone available like uh, DiVincenzo or someone that's sort of like a mid tier that doesn't cost us a ton of money, we might make a splash come the off season. It'll be a journey. It should be a ton of fun. And if you were hyped for this series, do me a favor and show by leaving a like in the video, subscribing so you don't miss out on a single episode here over on More Good Game Bros. We're going to be dropping, hopefully, a ton for this series. You got a lot of time left to do it. The players this team are super young, mixed with a little bit of older veterans to help them out. But ultimately, if you think there's a player we should be going after that's realistic, let me know in the comments down below. Episode two will kick off our first official gameplay and our journey with the Louisville Badgers, and I couldn't be more excited. Our goal is to be better than the Supersonics, but that may take us a couple of years. But eventually, we will compete for an NBA championship, and I can't wait. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. I'll catch you guys on the next one.